You heard about the inflation rate. Well, look at this. This is from the Post Millennial. Biden to host e event celebrating the Inflation Reduction Act. Biden on the Consumer Price Index. You'll hear it referred to as a CPI. Today's data shows more progress in bringing global inflation down in the U.S. economy. Overall, prices have been essentially, what are you saying, has been lowered. It hasn't been. For me, has it been for you? I don't know. Gas kind of took a dump uh, a little bit, and it's a lot cheaper now. But listen, we got so much more to do. All right, so let's go to another. Let me show you this. Uh, Emma Vaughn Post, brutal numbers ahead of Biden and the Democrats' celebration today. August CPI soars by 8.3%. Grocery prices are up 13.5%. Core consumer prices rose by 6.3%. And the real average hourly earnings fell 2.8%. However, 17 months in a row under Biden in which inflation has outpaced the wages. Are you confused yet? Well, I've got somebody here that I've known a long time. I asked him to come be on the show. You've probably seen him on Fox. You've seen him on a lot of other person, other news outlets. He's got his own podcast. 47-year veteran of the mortgage industry. He's a frequent guest on Fox Business. David Licken, Licken on Lending. Welcome, David, to the program tonight. Glad you're here. Well, you look at what is going on and look what's behind it. I think that's really interesting. So when we have this administration going out and saying that they're fighting inflation and yet they're spending money at the rate that they are, it's we're just having just so much contradiction of what's going on. And then you look at what the Federal Reserve is doing right now. Interest rates are rising. And we saw the Federal Reserve's uh, increase the 10-year Treasury is trading now at the highest levels. It looks like we could break through to another level. What does that mean to the average consumer? It means you're going to be paying more on anything that has borrowed money. Thankfully, this network and this ministry supports being debt-free. But a lot of Americans are deep in debt, Gene. And that's impacting so many things. It's a big inflationary indicator of what we've got to look forward moving forward, looking right, so, forward as we look forward. So, David, I mean, you've got all these years in the mortgage industry. I, I want to understand, uh, because right now prices have gone up. We've got problems with building materials. You can't get building materials. It's delays. A lot of people are qualifying for a new house, they're borrowing the money, but by the time it gets built, the price has gone up and they're falling out of the system. How yep. does this ever change? How do we break that cycle? Well, we're, you have to look at interest rates on a historical basis, but that doesn't do any good for someone who's trying to buy a home or building a home right now, because the cost of goods have gone up, but also the cost of the interest rate on that loan. Most lenders will not lock you in for a long enough period for the time it takes to build a home. So as a result of that, we're having the greatest number of people that were qualified as they started construction, no longer qualifying as they get close to completion of that home. That's resulting a lot of people going through a great deal of stress. That dream home, that's fading away. And it's unfortunately uh, getting more difficult as we look at this. And so we're going to be seeing interest rates continue to climb. A lot of the current uh, treasury rates are priced into interest rates, but all indications now indicate that we're going to be seeing interest rates continue to climb, Gene. And that's going to cause for a lot more people to pull back. You look at the economic, it's based on demand. When consumers are in and feeling good about the economy, they're willing to spend money. The consumer price index is one of the things we pay attention to. Consumer sentiment is another thing we look at, some economic indicators. Basically, what that means, Gene, is when consumers feel good about the economy, they buy. They buy houses, they buy goods and services, and it builds the economy. Consumers are not feeling good right now, and we're seeing the biggest pullback as far as consumer buying activity. And that is having another impact on the overall economy. So logically, uh, it, where we're where we are as a nation going through inflation, uh, some say recession. Uh, even though we decide to not partake in the recession, the nation's going through it. Uh, with exactly that, right. how long do you think? I'm asking your opinion. I know it's not highly. I mean, you're more educated in this than I am, obviously. But I want to know just your opinion. How long do you think at this current rate before we start seeing things take a turn to the positive? Well, there's two aspects we look at that. We look at the current worldview. We look at the news that's coming out. And this could be, this looks very discouraging for a long period of time. For those of us who watch Flashpoint, 
who are also listening to the prophetic words out there, I think we're all anticipating something significant happening as we get closer to the midterm. Personally, election. I think that we're going to see something begin to change, and it's causing more volatility. In other words, we have more pain in the economic data. This is a time we need to be focused on the Lord. And what is the Lord telling us? What is God speaking to us? Thankfully, we have the prophets to then many of which you have on this on Flashpoint telling us to be encouraged. Yes, it's going to get darker ahead. So for the believer who's watching this, I would say you should be very encouraged because we have some great times ahead. Six months, I believe that we'll be on the other side of the storm. I think even when the world's view, when you look at it, I think there's a general feeling that interest rates are going to begin to come down. And that's a big driver of so much of the economy when there's more money to spend because interest rates are lower, payments are lower, whether it be at the gas pump and the, but truckers are paying on the loans that they're using for the vehicles they finance or whether it just be any aspect of something as big as housing, which contributes to so much of the economy. You think about what goes into a home, all the industries that are impacted by home construction. And we're seeing that absolutely going to a halt right now because of what is going on in the hearts and minds of many consumers. There's a lot of fear. The fear is causing them to hold back, pull back. Yeah, that's right. All right, well, let me show you this click and I get your comment. Uh, I'm gonna lance out of this. Uh, let's see what Joe Biden has to say about the economic crisis, watch. Building an economy that finally works for working families. We started with the American Rescue Plan. That's taken us from economic crisis to economic resurgence. Economic crisis to resurgence, Lance. Uh, welcome to the program tonight. Uh, do you think Joe Biden has an understanding of what's going on? While a delirious president is fiddling away with a speech about how he's celebrating his success with the economy, and while he's saying it, the stock market plunges 1,200 points. So the, the best construction you can make on it is that God is in the business yep. of confirming that America is on the wrong track until the American people repent and take control of the government as God allowed this system to, uh, to make us do. We've got to grab the steering wheel because these guys are so crazy, their way of getting out of this dumpster fire is to spend more money. Does the nation need to repent for this? Or does Joe Biden need well, to repent for this? You know, California needs to repent. Right now, the Mosquito Fire is on its way to being the second largest fire in California history. It's already burned 50 square miles. Wow. And it is right outside of Sacramento, right where our workers are right now, going door to door, ministering to people. And you know, the California psyche right now is don't use your electric car buy an electric car, buy it, don't use it. And the conservation and the grid and everything they're doing now, it, it's of biblical proportions, the desperation in California. And what God is doing is giving us an open door to the greatest tent crusade we've ever done, right? Not far from that Capitol building in Sacramento. And we are going to reach out to people that have been beaten up by woke, depressed, smashed, and had all of their hopes and dreams destroyed. And so we get back to Biden, as your question uh, was so eloquently presented to me. The man at this point is in total denial, total denial. And what we have is a simple fact. Whatever the Democrats say we are, if we are MAGA or support Trump, they are. Everything they say we are, they are. And we have to understand that now, as our brother just so well said, there is a prophetic word for the moment we're in, for the body of Christ. There is a prophetic word. Keep your foot on the gas. Stand, speak out. Don't be afraid. Control your emotions. Don't go, go by what you see. We're turning the crisis in California into a massive opportunity.